Christina. Let's get you to Covington now. A major update in the Jack Strain trial. The former St. Tammany Parish Sheriff accused of sex crimes with kids did not take the stand before the state and the defense rested today. WDSU's Aubrey Killian joins us live from the North Shore with more on what else the defense did throughout the trial that you may find surprising. Aubrey, when do closing arguments start? Hey, Christina, so closing arguments, they start first thing Monday morning. After that, the fate of Jack Strain, it will fall in the hands of the jury. After two long weeks and graphic testimony from five accusers, Jack Strain says he's not taking the stand. His defense brought in zero witnesses and presented no evidence. Strain is accused of four counts of aggravated rape two counts of aggravated incest and one count of indecent behavior with a juvenile and a count of sexual battery. Judge Bruce Simpson telling the jurors when court picks up Monday to bring three nights of clothes and be prepared to be sequestered in a hotel. He went on to say, quote, you never know how this is going to play out. Friday in court, Dr. Scott Benton, a specialist in child abuse, took the stand to give his expert opinion. He highlighted that it's very common for victims to stay around abusers later in life, saying, quote, it's not unusual for disclosures to be delayed. When asked if it's common for disclosures to be immediate, he said, quote, it's exceedingly uncommon. Benton also said, quote, I'm not aware of any medical proof in this case. Prosecutors say the evidence that would have likely had DNA on it doesn't exist, and some dating back 40 years. So guys, it's also very important to note that the decision must be unanimous. So that means that all 12 jurors, they must decide to convict or acquit. If it is not unanimous, then it would turn into a mistrial. Reporting live in Covington, I'm Aubrey Killian, WDSU News.